You know what? Before I begin the movie reviews, I need to clear my head first. So, a friend of mine sent me a link to the recent Miss Universe contest. Uh, yeah, I know. The recent controversy about the shooting in California. I don't believe I'm entitled to anything, but I do appreciate the female form. I actually make no apologies for that. So, let's, let me just clear my mind here. Ooh, Ooh Canada. I feel like I should be saluting. Never mind. Ah, let's see what else is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what the? What the fuck is that? Play the Dark Matter clip! Now! So tonight, I went to go see Days of Future Past again. And, yeah, okay, I know I, I tried to film this last week, but I could not be coherent enough when I was just praising this film. It just came out as a slew of just gushing. It actually was better the second viewing. Uh, seriously, just go see it. I don't want to spend time rushing. Just go watch it. It's... I, I honest. Before I saw it again, I wasn't sure which one I preferred. I, I thought I actually preferred Captain America, the Winter Soldier, to this. J just slightly. Now? I, I, I honestly don't know. It, it's... They're both really, really, really good films. Uh, obviously, Days of Future Past is more recent. If you haven't seen Captain America yet, yeah, go see that. But go see this one, too. Days of Future Past, it's better than X-Men 2. It's one of the best superhero movies I have seen. It's phenomenal. If you want the non-spoiler version, what I've been using is I've been saying Wibbly Wobbly, Tiny Wimey, Jennifer Lawrence, Flying Stadium equals retcon. It's... It's like, I think they kind of said, yeah, you remember X3 and bits of X2? Yeah, yeah. For, you can forget about those. X3 never happened. I'm sure that'll make a lot of people very happy because X3 was not good. Hopefully that means we can also forget that the Wolverine... X-Men Origins, the Wolverine. Sorry. Never happened. X, The Wolverine is pretty good. Why did they decide to do that? Origins Wolverine is awful. X3 is awful. So, from what I can tell, it never happened. They're out of continuity now. You can forget about them. It's all good. Anyway, as I said, that was actually the second... Why is that bad? That was actually the second film. Or the second time I've seen that film. So... Uh, I decided I wanted to go see a new release tonight as well. Uh, went to see X-Men again because a friend of mine hadn't seen one. See, like, okay, I'll go. Yeah. I, if I really like a film, I will go see it twice. Um, but I do like to add to the movies that I've seen in the summer. And since there were two new releases this uh, Friday that I really wanted to see, uh, they were... A Million Ways to Die in the, in the West, and Maleficent. Now, I went to see Days of Future Past first, 7.30 showing, and I thought, okay, well, what can I go see afterwards? Okay, they both had showings that would start after Days of Future Past, like that. that's good. Now, when I go to see a movie doubleheader, I like to mix it up, go see two different types of movies. I figured... Maleficent would be a little bit too close in tone, you know, action scenes, etc. So, 
I went to go see A Million Ways to Die in the West. That little bit I had at the beginning of the video, I meant to show that hopefully, you might not have thought that was funny. It's probably funnier than about 95% of this film. A lot of this film is just fucking awful. I like Charlize Theron. I liked Ted. I generally like Neil Patrick Harris. He's completely fucking wasted. No scene with Neil Patrick Harris in it, in this film, is funny in the slightest. They have him shitting in a hat. When I say this movie is shit, it, sometimes I actually mean that literally. Neil Patrick Harris is shitting in a hat, and somehow this is funny. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> that thing is, it's still not the worst comedy I've seen this year. That That's still frickin' ride-along. That was... I think I chuckled a couple of times. But... Oh. Here... There are some scenes that are funny. Damned if I can remember them right now, because uh, the, all, all the bad scenes are sticking to my head for some stupid reason. But I do remember laughing, genuinely laughing a few times. But it, it wasn't when, I don't think it was when they were actually trying to be actively funny, but they, they were just being normal funny. Oh, yeah, one scene I did find funny is that Seth MacFarlane and Charlize Theron are just out there sitting. This is shortly after they met. And they're just talking out in the desert, and Rattlesnake goes by. Don't move! Okay, for some reason I found that scene fairly funny. Uh, but, oh, it's way too fucking long. A comedy, in my mind, perfect length for a comedy is about an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes. Comedies can be fairly short, because you want to get the joke, keep the jokes coming, coming, coming. This thing's nearly two hours long, and it feels it because it's not funny. Oh, oh one of the running jokes here is that, I can't remember the, uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but he's dating Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman's, like, completely in love with this guy. She's a prostitute. She'll have sex with everybody else, but she won't have sex with him because they're, Chris, they're both Christians and they're saving themselves for marriage. Hey, hey Teddy wants... Ken wants to do you in the ass. Teddy! It's not fucking funny! Oh, Oh, uh, I, d I don't want to keep talking about this, so I'm going to cut this short. But, yeah, don't, don't go see this film. Just don't. Uh, don't go see, don't watch Ride Along either. That's even worse, but, all right, whatever. Uh, I'm going to put this up now. I'll talk to you later, folks.